All right, we have the president of the Baseball Hall of Fame on the phone, Jeff Idelson, who just got done with his duties on MLB Network. Jeff, Jonas Schwartz here in Midtown. Thank you so much for joining us. Congratulations. A banner day for the Hall of Fame. Uh, I'm imagining that you don't mind this debate. All it does is continue to show the great interest in what goes on and who gets into Cooperstown. Yeah, we, I mean, we, we firmly believe that uh, the, the debate is healthy, but most importantly, we are very happy with the job the writers have done in electing qualified candidates. And when you look at this ballot, the fact that four earned election uh, speaks to the strength of the ballot. You can certainly make a case for a lot more than the four. And uh, uh, the voters have just done a great job over the years of, you know, assuring that the, the qualified candidates get elected. Uh, and I understand certainly, you know, there's an historic nature to this election, First time since, I believe, what, 1955, four guys have made it on the ballot. Right. That was the last time, 1955. I think that was a class highlighted by Joe DiMaggio. So, yeah, I mean, it shows you how tough it is to get in. The 20 years I've been in Cooperstown, it's usually been one or two guys, sometimes three, like in 1999 but or last year. But they have four going uh, and these four guys especially, it's going to be an electric summer in Cooperstown. All right, Jeff, obviously a couple of guys with New York ties do get in. Randy Johnson played her, so did Pedro Martinez. Mike Piazza, many Met fans very passionate about this. The fact that he's inched up is leading many people to believe that he could be up in Cooperstown next year as well. What's your take? Well, I mean, the, uh, you know, the, the voters uh, have the tough job of, of deciding who they want to vote for each year. If they want to pick, you know, they can pick up to 10 and uh, – yeah, you could certainly make a great case for Mike Piazza. I mean, uh, he, he was a stalwart with the Mets, with the Dodgers, and uh, one of the great catchers of all time. And uh, along with, with some others on the ballot, you can make a compelling reason to uh, you know, consider those guys for Cooperstown. But ultimately, it's up to the writers to decide. And uh, whomever they uh, choose to elect, we are looking forward to honoring in Cooperstown. And, Jeff, we are looking forward to another special day in the summer. You should have great crowds up there to celebrate this class. Thank you so much for giving us a few minutes. Okay, thank you. Good to be with you, Jonas. Good to talk to you, too. Jeff Idelson, the president of the Baseball Hall of Fame.